Hello and welcome to Computer Applications and Architecture Design. Today we're going to be looking at how to lay out files for laser cutting. And we're going to use a Grasshopper script in order to do that. So let me show you what we're going to be working on today. Uh, for one, uh, you should have a model uh, that we can be operating on. And you can begin to start modeling out what your sheets look like. In, in this case I have laid out um, a series of sheets, so uh, do it just like this. Uh, and then the other thing is we're going to be um, importing our, our Rhino contours. We're going to be importing uh, our organizing points, uh, our point grid on each sheet. And we're going to be using Grasshopper in order to map each of these contours uh, to each of these points by using a, a move command. And lastly, we're going to be learning how to annotate in Grasshopper. So this is a function which is counting each of the points and labeling those points with numbers. You're going to use this then to bake um, into, um, so annotating, uh, so the order that you assemble these things in is important. So uh, in our cuts here, we have on our layer example, we have uh, cut and score. So uh, take a moment at what we're doing. Uh, the logic, again, is to convert our contours into surfaces, bring those into Grasshopper, uh, bring our target points in, where we're sending, where, how we're laying out our sheets. And then we're going to be uh, moving these surfaces. In the move command, we're also going to be introducing an idea of how to sort. When we are comparing two lists of things, it's important that we have the same, um, that the number of surfaces equals the number of points. And so you'll see that they don't. This is 2012, or 212 items, and this is 213 items. So we're going to show you how to use a, a, a way of uh, sorting those information uh, in order to get a one-to-one -one mapping. Okay, so why don't we why don't we start from the beginning? So you should have a so here I have uh, my form which I'm going to be making out of 16th inch chipboard, uh, and I have a series of dowels uh, that are going to support this thing. Now that poly surface has been converted into a series of uh, contours. Uh, you can refer to an earlier tutorial about how to use contours. So I want to turn our dowels off as well. Um, let's go down here into our cut example. And uh, we'll turn off our previous. Uh, there we go. OK. So why don't we go into a top view. OK, this looks good. Uh, so uh, to start with, we're going to make a rectangle. Uh, so in my cut sheet, um, okay, so start with we're going to make a rectangle, 36 by 24 inches. And, um, okay, so now we need to be able to separate what's a cut, what's a score, and what's a point. So our cut sheets, our laser cutter, uh, we're going to be cutting out our shapes. Uh, our laser cutter is then going to be scoring uh, the numbers uh, into those shapes so we know how to assemble them. And our points are going to be what organizes where those shapes are, so uh, the location. So let's do a point here. Uh, why don't we put it in the middle? And then let's, let's do an array. And we're going to do 8. Uh, let's do 6 and 1. And so here, why don't we just do every four inches? Uh, every four inches. Okay, so we change our spacing here. Oops, sorry, this was four. Uh, our number, we need to go to uh, eight. And our number, we need to go to ten. Okay, so the other thing we need to start doing is sort of making sure that our points are correct. So um, we can't put points on the edges because we would 
so we have margins, in other words. So why don't we start sort of calling where these points are. Okay, that looks good. Now let's send this 37 inches to the right. All right, why don't we do that? So we'll send this 25 inches down. Okay. So um, first board, second board, third board, fifth, sixth, seventh. Let's take a look at our, our curves here. So what I've done is uh, select the surfaces. So all of these contours are groups of curves right because they have holes or circles for where the dowels are going through them that are unconnected so but they're all planar so that's important that these need to be groups um all right so why don't we convert those to curves or excuse me convert those to surfaces so you're going to select all of those and you're going to convert them from planar boundaries okay so once you have converted your contours into surfaces let's bring them into grasshopper so here let's bring in double click on the model space bring in surface right click on the surface container and do select multiple surfaces and then select the surfaces to include in this list now uh, we need to make sure that the surfaces are in the correct order so in order to do that um, we're going to do a point list uh, now, you'll notice you can't pull a surface into a point list because a surface is not a point. You need a point to get uh, to connect to a point. So let's we're going to be using this for uh, location mapping as well. So why don't we find a point on a surface? In this case, I'm going to be looking for the area center. So if you type in the word area, um, you'll get this function, which will calculate both the area and the geometric center for the surface. So why don't we plug that? Center, that center point into our points and take a look at what what we have here okay so you'll notice that uh, so what this function is doing is it's uh, numbering in order uh, what this list is so when we look at it it says 212 at the top and what does it say at the bottom it says zero at the bottom I can change the size of this to be let's do 0.75 inches Great, and I can change my view to be ghosted, uh, so I can see that. Now I can do wireframe as well. So here I can see um, that my first, my bottom is zero. Okay, that's good, uh, because that tells me uh, it's going to go from the bottom uh, to the top. So the next thing I need is uh, points. Oh, by the way, if this is in the wrong order, uh, you can right click on the sur surface container and you can click reverse here and see how it reverses it uh, so if if yours are in the wrong order or in the reverse order uh, you can you can use that uh, sorting tool to flip or reverse your list so in this case we're okay uh, the next thing I need to do is type in um, a point container why don't we rename this as uh, layout points and if you right click it set multiple points let's go to the top now the order if I just select them all um, it'll tell me how they're laying them out so in this case uh, it's starting uh, in a row and then it's moving and it's moving uh, right so that's different so if I select things like this um, it, it will do it differently. Um, so that's important. So why don't we set multiple points? Uh, so if we select them all, okay, so it's starting here. Uh, so zero and it's moving in by rows and then it's moving over, right? So we're just following this line. Okay, so that looks good. So then it jumps from this last point to this first point and repeats. That looks great. 
the last thing we have to do here is uh, excuse me so let's let's go and build our function uh, so now we have all of our rhino elements into into grasshopper uh, eventually what we're doing our our goal here is uh, to move surfaces so I'm going to type in the move command and I'm going to put the geometry of surface into the move uh, the move command we're going to use a vector uh, and we're going to use a two-point vector because we have a uh, a base point, right? These centers on the surfaces, and a target point, which is uh, these this grid here. So I'm going to do uh, vector two points. I'm going to plug this one in. I'm going to select uh, from the center uh, to my uh, layouts. Now, what we'll notice is that because I have more points than I have surfaces, um, what Grasshopper is doing is it's taking the last um, the last item in surfaces and then putting basically putting those onto all of these uh, remaining points. So let's introduce an, a way of um, sort of making the list the same length. So I'm going to type in a shortest list. Uh, so just to reiterate, um, there needs to be a one-to-one -one mapping between surfaces and points. I can't if I have more points than surfaces, then it's going to uh, it's going to have to figure out what to do with the remainder. If I have more surfaces than points, it's going to do the same thing. So it's going to start to overlay multiple surfaces. So shortest list is a way of com comparing two lists. In this case, list A is my surfaces. List B is my list of points. Uh, and then it's going to trim the end. So I'm going to take my trimmed end for B, my layout points, and plug that here. And let's make sure that worked. Okay, so there it is. So my last point uh, should be, we can hide some of these earlier ones. We can hide these. So there we go. Okay, so... Um, the last part we have to do in our grasshopper script uh, is to annotate. Uh, so for this, we're going to use a text 3D tag. Um, oops, excuse me, I did the wrong one. Uh, text 3D tag. There it is. Uh, so the text 3D requires um, a location to uh, put a, a marker uh, and what, what to write. So the location is going to be these layout points. And we're going to use our trimmed layout. So we're going to do this as a location. The next thing we need to do is we need to count. Um, we need, we're going to count each of these um, numbers. So uh, the first thing we need to do is to make sure that that's 212. So let's double click and do 212. And put this into count. And if we plug this in to text, there we are. So we can now see that there's a um, an annotation attached. Um, the other thing that we can do here is um, we can say what number to start on. So if you don't want to start on 0, you can change that to 1. The last thing that we want to do is sort of make sure that these are correct. So why don't we do size is uh, 0.25 inches and uh, our justification why don't we just do as a center so let's do uh, middle center okay um, and we should be we should be done all we have to do now is uh, to bake this so if we do bake cut bake score. There we are. We're all set. Thank you so much for watching. And um, now you've laid out your cut sheets.